Now, would you put your life on hold to undertake a huge physical challenge for charity? Our diet and fitness guest has done just that and has an inspiring story. Welcome to the Harvey Normal Lounge, Scott Bartley. Hello. Scott Bartley and should I say, and Ella as well. Welcome to you Hi. too, Ella. So what have you done? The huge physical challenge that we're talking about. <laughs> what have you done, Scott? It's called the Tour of New Zealand. What is it? Well, it's a bike race. And right. it's a stage bike race. It goes over eight days. And we go from, uh, there's actually two groups of cyclists taking part of this. 200 riders start at the bottom of the South Island. Mm -hmm. 200 riders start at the top of the North Island. And we all meet seven days later in Wellington. 700 k's in seven days. Yeah. That seems like quite a lot. You've been doing a bit of training? I have. Well, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Funnily enough. I am very pleased to hear that because you never know. So why did you want to get involved? Well, that's, that's why Ella's here. Because um, the, the tour of New Zealand, it's, it's, it's a bike race, but it's also a, a, a big fundraiser. Mm -hmm. they, there's a strong charity side to it. And uh, one of the charities that's being supported this year is the Child Cancer Foundation. And my daughter, Ella, here, she um, seven years ago was, was diagnosed with, with a large brain tumour. And uh, that's essentially why we're here. We've had a lot to do with child cancer over the years. Look and that um, on screen now, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's Ella in treatment. So and, you uh, want to help raise some money? E exactly, yeah. Mm. So the Child Cancer Foundation, they, they do a lot for, for families, um, parents and kids with cancer. They're a, they're a support network organisation. Mm. So they, they, they kind of take over when you leave hospital or even when you're in hospital as well, depending on where you're at with your cancer experience. When you really need that help yeah. and you don't know what, what to do or where to yeah. go. Yeah. How is Ella now? She's doing really well, aren't you, love? You're looking great. Are these your beads of courage, are they? Yeah. Wow, so you get those every time you go into hospital? Every yeah. time every time she has a procedure or any, anything, anything to do with, with hospital, um, there's also good stuff on there as well, like birthdays, um, right. just, just to keep it positive as well. There's a lot of beads there, an awful lot of beads. Have you done anything like this um, bike race before? Uh, no. No, I've done a couple of short bike races, but they're, they're one-day affairs, so this is going to be quite different for me. So what are you going to get out of it on a personal level? Well, I'll, I'll feel a lot fitter at the no end. No kidding, 700 yeah. k's, yes you will. Yeah, yeah, but um, for, for, well, for me, cycling's always been, it's kind of a, a therapeutic thing for me. Like with, with Ella's cancer experience, it changed our lives. Mm. It, it really did, that's, that's not just a cliche, that's, it really did change our lives. We, mm. Kim had to, my wife Kim had to quit her job so that she could look after Ella naturally and, and I kind of struggled through with my, my job mm. at the time and we, we were in Auckland at the time, we've been there for years, but we decided to make a clean break after that. You, you kind of reassess your, your priorities, priorities in I'm life sure here. Mm. And we were sitting there in the hospital watching all these doctors and nurses running around saving, literally saving Ella's life mm. and uh, we thought, well, look at these people making a difference. With, with their lives and that kind of spurred us on to, to, to change our lives right right then and there to, mm. to, to do what's best for the kids and the family from there. So you're a freelance writer, dad of you've got um, two children, so what sort of training is involved and how do you motivate yourself? <laughs> well it's it's just riding, I've just got to get out and ride the bike really because we average 100, kilo, 100 k's a day in the race right. so I need to be able to do that comfortably for, for seven days in a row. Um, it's, I mean, how do you do it comfortably? I'm just thinking about being on a bike seat for 100 k's. That's not a comfortable place to be. It's amazing how tough you get after a, a, a few hours You're at a time calluses. every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine. Yeah. If you can spend three hours a day on the bike, though, okay. just, to, just as a practice, you know, just warm up to it. So how much money do you hope to raise for CCF? Uh, well, they've given me a target of $5,000. And what's that going to be used for? Uh, it goes... Well, it, it goes straight to the Child Cancer Foundation, and they put it to to good use. You know, the mm -hmm. supporting families they they support families with groceries. Um, they've got a, they've got a network of family support people who who come around to make sure everyone's okay and just just help people through these it's a really the important tough job times. Too. Yeah, a very important job. So, uh, how can people support you in the tour of New Zealand if they want to sort of give some something to help you out in CCF? What do they do? Um, well. Yeah, you can donate to CCF. Just that, that's where all the money I'm raising goes. Mm -hmm. so you can donate to them. Um, they've got a website. It's March is the appeal month, so there's, there's lots you. of stuff. 
Me, I've got a fundraising website on, on everydayhero.com. It's part of the Tour of New Zealand one, so it, it's fairly easy to find. Um, the link's a bit unwieldy wieldy to, to just... OK, I'll tell off. you what, don't worry about it. We'll put it on our Facebook page and our website as well, so people can go and check that out. Scott, Ella, thank you so much, both of you, for coming up today. It's been an absolute pleasure, and good luck. Good luck Thanks. with the calluses too. And for another way to get some fitness into your life, check out the Health Station VFit Special Cafe offer by calling the number on screen.